Hey there guys, welcome back to Nimby Rails. Between sessions I've done quite a bit of track building. Like, I've built all of the stuff between Liverpool and Manchester which allowed me to finish off Mersey Rail. I've built quite a lot out of Manchester towards Sheffield and Doncaster and everything north of Nottingham, as well as putting in the Nottingham Express Transit, i.e. the trams, um, which are slowly bedding in and eventually will get up to the top end of the route after some time. Today we're going to look at building Sheffield. I've deliberately left this because it's complicated. And what better thing to leave than something that's complicated. So we have a platform here. We have one here. We have one here. That's the through tracks done. Then, complicatedly, we have a bay platform there. Which I'm going to make as long as I can. I think that's the only bay platform on that side. Technically, this track and this track have through tracks between them as well, but I can't put that in. And this one's only one track, but again, can't really do that. So, kind of left with this. And I have that like that, and a tiny track here. When I say tiny, I really mean tiny. Then, I just have to modify the positions of all the platforms to get it so that I can actually get trains in and out of them. So that should do it. And it's not called Amphitheatre, it's called Sheffield. And the one bit I'm missing is the tram track down here. Which I only want to be sort of 60 metres. There we go. Sheffield. Done. Now then, time to build the tracks out to the south. So, I'm just going to scroll down a bit. As far as I'm concerned, as far as I can see, at the point we're down here, it's only two tracks. Sorry, not trams, normal. Normal track. At the point we're down here, it's only the two tracks. It kind of splits out into three and then four as it comes up, but I'm going to just split straight into four because I can't do three. I say we'll probably have it by f at four by there. So have it come through the tunnel as four, and then go down into three. Into two, even. Like that. Now then. Now we're up here. <laughs> Let's try and work out what happens. So I'm going to suggest, because my layout is slightly different from the actual one, it feels sensible to have one pair of lines go into the one through track, and the other pair go into the other through track. Then it looks like we also have... I'm going to need more nodes, unfortunately. To get in the junctions I need, I need more nodes. So we'll do that. We'll try and pull this node around so that I can get the bridge in. There we go. By the looks of it, we're going to have it come out of here and connect on up here and also out of... I'd like to come off that, that cross track, but we'll have to come off there because that's where I can actually get the node in. Then this one comes across to up here and also into there, except that's going to be horrible. Can I get out of here? Yes. There we go then. So that solves that. Out the other end is just as complicated. So we're going to come out of here. We're going to come down. And by this point we're already down to two tracks. So. I need more, more track first. Technically it kind of goes through tunnels for this. Might, might be worth actually going into a tunnel. It's several tunnels it uses, but I'm only going to use the one. There we go. If we go off here as a separate... No. Hmm. I'm, I'm debating how I want to do this. I think like that would work. Out of that line into the bay platform and 
off of here into this platform. I'm gonna leave the tram for now. There we go, Sheffield kind of exists. And it is just the bay platforms and the tram that are missing connections. Then we'll bring this line up from Dawn and Totley that I built between sessions and work out where it's meant to come into the city of Sheffield. I've never been to Sheffield. I've always wanted to, mainly because of the trams. I say always. The last couple of years I've wanted to, mainly because of the trams, but I've never actually got around to going there. I don't really know what it's like. Oh, there we go. We're in. I think everything looks okay. Out of the top becomes a bit more complicated as we have a split of tracks somewhere. Namely here-ish, I think. Possibly. It's not actually obvious, I'll be honest. Okay, what I'm going to say is we come up like this and bring the line round like so. Then we also have a junction with a set of points off that comes up this way. The issue now is, where does it go? <laughs> um, it's really not obvious. I think it comes across the river around here, and then across these roads like that. And logically, it crosses this river here. So that's where I need to aim to. Then pull that along so I can get that viaduct over the road and we're done. That's it. Then there's also, just to add to the complicatedness of this area, this line that I'm pretty certain doesn't see any passenger trains. At what point does this connect on? All the way down there. Okay. I'm going to continue building this one along then. And round like so. I'm going to bring it up a little bit there. Then we're going to bring the parallel track along. And that's the one that curves off up here. And where it goes up here, I have no idea. Then we have a junction here to allow transfers in that direction. And back here, because I need space, we're going to have another one to allow transfers in the other direction. The other side of the triangle has been torn up. Trains do use this stretch of track down to Darnall. So that's in. But they don't they don't go out along here. This line I'm not really sure what happens, honestly. It goes and joins up with the tram at some point, but I might just leave it there for now. So the, the tram comes up here and, and they kind of run alongside each other. So that'll do for now. The other line also just sort of heads north now. I'm really confused this, this line out to the west. Just runs up to... Up here, I think. Runs up to Stocksbridge as freight only. Fair enough. Okay, I'm going to leave it there, and we'll see if there's a train I can put in. Okay, I'm going to put in the Liverpool to Norwich service that I mentioned a while back. I need to copy the colour first. E, 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 M, R. Copy. A lot, I've just realised a lot of these services are wrong after the latest time to have changed. Like Corbett St Pancras now is run by the new, three, six, new 360s, and runs at two an hour, rather than one an hour. Maybe I'll get around to changing it at some point. Create new line. Paste. EMR. I'm running Liverpool to Norwich, which is NRW apparently. Uh, five 
and north and north. Actually, I think I might run the other way. Because I think I gave myself a spare platform at Norwich, if I remember correctly. No, I didn't. I lie. Okay, we'll run Liverpool to Norwich then. I'm sure I can work out a platform allocation at Liverpool that will work. He says that optimism there. It's going to have to share with either Transport Wales or Northern. Uh, the Northern has a very short turnaround, I think, so... He says. And they pass here, so I'm going to gather it does. We'll share with Northern. Liverpool Lime Street. Liverpool South Parkway. Witness is sort of along here somewhere. But finding it is never easy, is it? Witness. Warrington Central. Manchester Oxford Road. There's another express down that line, because there's not been enough already, clearly. Manchester Piccadilly. Stockport. Uh, which platform at Stockport, do you reckon? This one? Oh, I still need to figure out, some of the lines are broken at Manchester, they're using their old tracks, I need to look at that at some point. I think I'd prefer it to come in the other side of Stockport and come in with TFW. Maybe not, like, can I switch all the way back up here though? Is there a way to get across? Yeah, there's one there, can I use that? <sighs> After Stockport, use this track. Uh, after I managed to use this track then, after Stockport, we're going to use this track back. Uh, like that's writing stops. After Stockport, where do we go? We go to Sheffield, then Chesterfield. Um, I'm going to put you in this platform. No, I'm not. I'm going to put you in this platform. This feels like a better bay. Then... Chesterfield. Yeah, I need to look at what that track does still. I think it's meant to be that one. <laughs> I may have forgotten that. I'll have a look at it in a minute. Uh, off camera. Just to make sure it is sort of vaguely doing the right thing here. Obviously, it has to come through Doran Totley. It can get into Sheffield fine. Yeah, everything looks okay there. Coming out of Manchester is okay. It runs down through Hazel Grove. Is that what it's meant to do? Yes. After Chesterfield, we go to Alfreton, which is all the way down here. Then Nottingham, which is... Let's put it in this platform, because it's the only one that's not got a Terminator in it. Then Grantham. And Peterborough. Uh, we'll come in here if I can. That's an interesting choice that you've made. Wait. What? Okay, so it's only two track out of Grantham, but maybe when it's four track, could we... Wait, is it only two track out of Grantham? Yeah, it really is, but when it's four track, maybe we could be on the other one. So if we come down here, and then out of Peterborough, we come back along here. Right. That should make it a little better, is it? Yeah, now it can actually join onto the right track here. Peterborough. Where do we go after Peterborough? We go to Ely. Where we have to turn around, I do believe. Because we now head up to Thetford. So it reverses twice on this journey to get to Norwich. I don't know which platform we're meant to use here. Let me have a look quickly at what is being used. B, C, E and G. B, C, E and G. Okay. Which one's being used least out of those four? E. I reckon. 
lines. Choose E then. Don't know which one I'm meant to be using. I thought I'd left an empty platform for this service, but clearly I'm wrong. Yeah, we could use that curve, or we could go back to Ely. Play nice. Now we run back up to Peterborough, not in that platform. Uh, how are we? Maybe like up? There we go. Then after Peterborough, we go back to Grantham. And you're choosing to try and go up there, are you? Well, I guess that's not the worst choice you could make. I'm not quite sure on how you're trying to get into... I, I'm really confused. Uh, why are you going into Long Eaton? <laughs> what, what purpose does that serve you? You're meant to come in here. Which I guess means you need a connection over at some point. So it's probably a matter of I forgot to put the connection in or didn't realise there was a connection or something. But there's a couple of places like this in, in the East Midlands where I've kind of been left with. I've got four tracks here and nowhere to change between the, the pairs. This doesn't feel right. Um, Nottingham, Alfreton, Chesterfield. I sort of work out what's going on with that extra track there. Sheffield. Stockport. Then that's where we have the next waypoint. Then Manchester Piccadilly. Manchester Oxford Road. Warrington Central. Witness. Liverpool South Parkway. And Liverpool Lime Street. This is going to be run by a 158. Um, we'll put a four car on it. Purchase. Put the speed in. Stop times. That's an awkward interval. Here's an idea. Probably going to be the only train using this platform at Sheffield. So. Uh, both times you stop at Sheffield, why don't you have a longer, longer wait time? At Norwich, you could probably afford a longer wait time. Maybe 10 minutes at Sheffield. Well, you use the platform twice. You, you are the only service that uses it. We're trying to get the, the dwell time at Liverpool down to below 15 minutes, ideally. Who else could I add a dwell in? I mean, ideally Ely, given it's got a turnaround. Or it is sharing a platform, so it's not ideal. That'll do. And then hourly service. So I need to clone 11 trains. It's going to be 12 trains total running this line. But it's fine. It's a 1,300 kilometer round trip. But there we go, it's in. It really runs across the entire map if I turn on the line view. If we turn off train icons. If I turn off everything, then you can actually really see it all the way across the map. In fact, yeah, that is, that is correct. So it actually uses a bit of the East Coast mainline between Grantham and Peterborough. So, that's all for today. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed and want more, and I'll catch you in the next one.